Hello everyone, so this time a rather short video. So sometimes it's rather useful to see the low-level representation of a given script or program, right? Um, I mean, at least I find it useful, and it's pretty useful on some CTFs as well. Now, it's pretty easy to do in Python, it's pretty like standard fair in C or C++, right? But when it comes to PHP, it's a little more difficult because, you know, PHP, while it's being a same type of language as Python, for example, so there is the compilation phase and the script is actually translated into internal opcodes, which then are being executed. Now, it doesn't really, by default, save the opcodes on disk so we can take a look or if the interfaces for the opcodes aren't so well publicized as in, PH, as in Python, I would say. It's still not so hard to do in PHP. There is a extension, PHP extension for the new PHP versions. It's called the Vulkan Logic Dumper. And um, I'm going to post a link to it actually um, under the video in the comment section so you don't have to Google for it. And after installing it, which is, you know, the standard ways to standard way to actually install a PHP extension, you can run it in the following way. You basically I'm going to use the script which, I, which you see on the right side as an example. You basically just have to do php t and then the Vulkan logic damper dot active equals one and the name of the script. Now, what you can see here is the dump of all the opcodes, right? Low level disassembly view basically of a PHP file. But uh, it also executes the script by default, which I guess you can see here when you're not equal did show up. To deactivate execution, you can do dash dvld execute equals zero, and it will not execute the script. Now, why would this be useful? For example, in the script, it's a little weird. It uses the bitwise and operator. And let's say this is some version of PHP, which we consider exotic. So we want to check what will be how will this expression be calculated? Whether this will be calculated first and this second with um, the bitwise operand being the last, or maybe the bitwise, uh, the bitwise operand will calculate this first and then we get this part calculated and in the end we get the whole expression. So, you know, if you switch between C and PHP where the operand um, order basically differs sometimes why it want to check it just to be sure and well dumping the opcodes is one of the ways to do it so analyzing this we basically see the bitwise end here but we do see that both the equality operators are being evaluated before that they're being called before and only then we get to the bitwise end operator so it's really really easy to just see it this kind of stuff on low level. Now, if you do like this kind of stuff, I'm going to recommend one of my CTF tasks which I created in 2015 for the Dragon Sector CTF. It's called Core, and I'm going to post a link to it and the description under the video. Now, I'm going to spoil it a little, or at least show you how to start. You get two files. You get the PHP executable. It's not modified in any way. It's just like a normal default build of PHP with symbols. This is just to help out the people a little. And apart from that, you actually get a core file. And the core file was dumped. It's, you know, the state of the process. It was dumped when the PHP was just about to execute the code. So if you open it in GDB, which is what I'm going to do right now, so it's going to be GDB, PHP, and php.core as the core file. There are some errors, but just feel free to ignore them. You can see that you are in the zend execute function, and there's something called a parameter called oparray, and this is actually, well, the array of opcodes which are going to be executed. This is basically the low-level representation of a function. So what you can do is you can um, check what is in this array, and this is why the symbols were required. And uh, here you can actually, well, start going through the opcode table while um, the result of stuff here, and, and it's pretty chaotic, there is an opcode table here. So you can do just um, this opcode is zero, and this will be your 
um, sorry, that's upcodes actually. This will be your first upcode to analyze. And well, yeah, you do have to write a disassembly for it, but it's pretty easy having access to already the parsed structures in the, in the core file and symbols in GDB. So it should be a pretty fun and easy task. It's actually, I rated it for 300 points, which means it's like medium in difficulty. If you want to get to know PHP internals, I totally recommend it. Now, if you are curious and actually mm, read Polish, a write-up to this task was published in one of the uh, uh, Programista magazines, and it was written by the P4 folks, the folks from one of the top Polish CTF teams. So you can check it out. The name of the article was Confidence CTF 2015, uh, which is made by Dragon Sector. By the way, that's why I said it's a Dragon Sector CTF. And the task name was PHP Core. Jarosław Jedynak and Mateusz Szymaniec did write this article. So that's it for today. Just a little small tool that I find sometimes useful. And that's it. See you next time.